Walk down the hallway that leads to the president's office at the Salk Institute, and you see six photographs on the wall. They show the six Nobel laureates who did their life science research at Salk. President-designate Gerald Joyce, everyone calls him Jerry, says they are a symbol of the Institute's laser-focused vision. The faculty and, and other scientists here at Salk focus intently on science. As important as the teaching mission is, that's not what we do here. As important as the clinical mission is, that's not what we do here. We are 100% focused on scientific discovery. A native of Kansas, Joyce came to San Diego to get his PhD as well as a medical degree at UC San Diego. His research specialty is RNA, a close cousin to DNA. He'll step into the office of the president from his current role as the chief science officer at Salk, where he has been on the faculty since 2017. A guy who seems to have a hard time sitting still, Joyce says an institute with a heritage like Salk can't be happy to just continue what's come before. As much as we respect and admire all the great achievements in the past, it's all about what we do next. So what does he think is next for Salk on that endless frontier of science? We now see a union of understanding biological systems with new technologies, especially computational technologies, to harvest big data, uh, process that data, and use that as a guide to experiments and, and hypothesis formations. One example, the effort at the Salk Institute to map the 90 billion neutrons of the human brain, funded by the biggest grant in the Institute's history. The scale of this data set is insane. And not only is it large, but it's multivariate. You're trying to mesh different data streams together. The only way we can do this is to get much more sophisticated in our biocomputation capabilities. As president of Salk, Joyce can't just be a scientist. He's got to be responsible for the Institute's culture. In the past five years, Salk has faced lawsuits alleging sexual discrimination and harassment. Joyce responds, saying there has been a shift in the culture of the Salk Institute. We are much more collaborative and much more inclusive than we were five years ago, 10 years ago, 15 years ago. That may be a trend across all of science, but at SOC, you know, we, we really believe in that day to day. And you see that in uh, the type of new faculty hires we make, the type of appointments we make across all positions at Salk Institute. Jerry Joyce assumes the role of Salk Institute president on April 21st. Thomas Fudge, KPBS News.